Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our last video we did this full width automatic slider here. In this video today if I roll down we're going to do a full width header section and it's that little blue purple section coming up there. If I roll up it's going to stick to the top as you can see there and it's got a little icon at the bottom that will take us down to the next section if you click on it really easy to do so let's get started i'm going to enable the visual builder and let's roll down and get rid of this so i'm going to delete that section and let's start from scratch i'm going to hit the little blue button to add a new section we're going to use a full width section from this and as you can see you've got a limited number of dedicated modules for full width so I'm going to hit the full width header. Now I'm not going to put it at the top as a header because we've already got a slider up there. So as you can see, it's put in this full width section right here. We've got our title, some content and a button. Obviously, you put your title in there. If you want a subtitle, let's pop it in there. And as you can see, that's popped it right there. You've got one button by default. If you want another one, just Put a title in there and it'll put a second button in for you below that we've got a regular text section where you can add or remove any of this text here you can align it bold italicize it make titles and add media if you want to if we pop down a bit we've got an option to add some images we can add a logo image and it'll pop it up the top there for us and if you want to, you can add a header image also, which is just a regular image. Select any picture, let's grab that one. And by default, that'll put that in on the right. But I really don't want those. I'm going to keep mine fairly tight today, so let's get rid of those. Now down below, you're going to find the link. Here's our button one link. Just put in whatever link you want there. I'm just going to put a hashtag in for a placeholder. Button two link. And if you want the whole module itself to link to something, you can put a link in here. Always best practice with links. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab so that yours stays open. Down below, we've got background. And you've got the usual color, gradient, image or video. You can put a video MP4 background in there or you can have a combination of colors gradients and images. I'm just going to use a simple gradient for this today. So I'm going to hit add background gradient. Let's make it say blue. There. Let's make this one purple. And as with all gradients, you can have it linear so it goes from top to bottom. Or you can have it radial so it goes from center to outwards. And you can actually adjust these if you want to. You can absolutely separate the colors completely if you want to. So we've got a kind of circle in the middle there with the purple on the outside well, I'm happy as it was now if you've got a background you can place the gradient above the background image we don't have that at the moment okay well let's move on to our design tab and layout I think I'd like to see my text in the middle here so I'm going to align mine to the middle you can make it full screen if we were using this as a header not just as a full width section if you hit that on, it gives it 100 VH for 100 viewable height. Whatever device you're viewing it on, it'll be full width or full screen, I should say, like that. But for me, I'm going to keep mine fairly small today. You can add a little scroll down icon below if you want to. Just flip this to on. There you're going to see an icon. You've got various icons to choose from there. You can color them and change it. And what this icon actually does is when they click on it, it'll take them to the section below. Okay, we're not using an image or an overlay. So took the image out. If you want to put an overlay on there, you can add one by simply doing that. And as you can see, it gives it a dark overlay. You can click on the color, play with the opacity to see as much or as little of the background as you want. I'm actually happy to not have an overlay. So let's click on that. I'm going to take the opacity down so it's not there anymore. You can 
to change your text and title however you want to. You can do the title and body text separately. Let's make that red. Make it crazy to stand out. Let's capitalize it. And let's make it perhaps semi bold. Yeah, a little bit bigger. There we go. And you may wonder about that button. That's one of our scroll effects we've got going on there. So that's why it's askew over there. And as with all Divi modules, you've got a huge amount of fonts to choose from. Just roll over one and it'll show you an example of it. I'm going to leave mine on the default today. OK. You can do the body text separately and the subtitle text separately. Let's make that red as well. We'll make that a little bit bigger also. Actually, you can't really see that very well. Let's put it back to white. There we go. You've got your regular text shadow. Usually on smaller text, that'll work all right for the subtitle, but on smaller text, it kind of makes it a bit blurry looking to me. You've got several different styles to choose from here. That'll work fine. And of course, you can style your buttons how you wish with the custom button styles. Do background colors and hover changes, whatever you want. But I'm going to leave mine just as they are on the default there. That works fine for me. So let's roll on down. There's the other button if you want to do the other button. Sizing. You can make it whatever height you want by rolling this up. You can set a minimum height, which means it won't get any smaller than the height you set it there. And you can make a maximum height, which means it won't get any bigger than the height you set. But I'm happy with the original. So common to most Divi modules, if you do something you don't like, just simply select it, delete it, and it'll go back to how it was. Spacing is margins and padding. If you want to add more space above the actual module, so it'd be above the blue line, use margin. If you want more space in between, use padding. So for instance, if I put 100 there, it'll put in the picks. We've got 100 on top. If you want 100 on bottom too, just hit the little chain. You've got 100 on the bottom there. OK. You can put borders on here. Don't particularly want a border, but if you did, choose a color. Let's choose that red so you can see it and give it the width that you actually want. You see the, the red appearing there? But like I say, I don't want one, so I'm going to take that all the way down to zero. You can add a little box shadow, but I'm happy to leave mine as is. So that's really all there is to it. Now, if you wanted it to stick to the top of the page, how we had it in the initial version, you can go over to your advanced tab, down to scroll effects, sticky position. And you can stick it to the top, to the bottom, or the top and the bottom if you want to. So let's stick it to the top. It'll just stick under our slider then when we roll up the page. As you can see, that's staying where it is. If we roll down, it's going to roll down as usual. When we get back to it, it's going to stick back to the top there. But I'm going to leave that off. I just thought I'd demonstrate for you. Do not stick. And there we go. So let's save our changes and make sure it's going to work on the front end. And exit the Visual Builder. And there's our little slider there. As we roll down, there's our little full screen header. And if I click on this, it'll take us down to the section below. Nice little effect, nice little feature to have on your website. So there you go, guys. There's a full width header module for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.